For this problem, we're asked to determine the x-intercepts, the vertical asymptotes, and the holes of f of x. And we're not given a graph to do it, we're just told to pull it out of this equation somehow. And what I want you to remember for this is the general schematic of where these different features live. When you have a function, x-intercepts live on top, and you may have multiple x-intercepts. Vertical asymptotes are on bottom, and the holes are the factors which are in both places at the same time. So let's just go through here and figure out what our x-intercepts are. I'll circle the x-intercepts um, in red right now. Let's see. These are things that are on the top but not on the bottom. So I'm not going to choose x plus 1 because it's also on the bottom. But x minus 5 is an x-intercept, and x minus 9 is an x-intercept. So my x-intercepts are going to be 5 comma 0 and 9 comma 0. Okay, those are my x-intercepts. Now let's pick another color for vertical asymptotes. Oh, no, no, it wants holes next. Okay, fine, we'll do holes next. So x plus 1, see that x plus 1? It's in both places at once, top and bottom. And this one over here, x plus 9, that's also in two places, top and bottom. So the holes are located at x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 9. Notice this is not a point The hole is not given as a coordinate point. And this is only for this particular problem. Later on, I'll teach you how to find the y-coordinate of a hole, but we're not going to get into that yet. It's a little more complicated. So for the last point, the last uh, part of this question right here, it wants the vertical asymptotes. Okay, in this case, those are going to be factors which are on the bottom, but not on the top. So that's going to be x equals 4 and x equals 3. Okay, and we will always write vertical asymptotes like this. I'm not going to teach you any other way about that. But heads up, we're going to get into more detail about the y-coordinates on the holes next.